What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jordan Snapper back at it again with another video. I was just taking my afternoon stroll, trying to go sneaker hunting, trying to figure out what I can use for this content. And I saw these in the store, like literally. It's like an angel shed light down from above. Because I saw these from a mile away and I'm like, <laughs> my neck broke. These literally made my neck break when I looked into the store. Bam. The Nike Air Max 2 Light QS. This shoe is the price point of $215 Canadian, which I believe is probably $160 US. This is a size 9, which is true to size. I did try these on in the store. Let's roll the clip. Inside the shoe, it's got like that terry cloth. Man, it is super comfortable. I was amazed on how comfortable these shoes are. And let me tell you something, guys. These are way more comfortable than these. Yes, you, all you easy people out there might be hating on me. I'm telling you, try these on and you'll know. So the materials used for the panels is just a straight canvas type of material. And over here, it actually feels a little bit different from the bottom on this part here it almost feels like nylon these are absolutely fire like okay i know what you guys are thinking this is a bright shoe there's a lot of colors on these guys there is you're absolutely right there is but the way you gotta wear these is a very summery shoe you break these out of winter time you can't break these out in spring this shoe is literally gonna be the most colorful thing when you walk outside obviously this is reaching towards a little bit more of the how you say retro era so let's get into detail with these shoes. So I think these are also AKA the Atmos. And I heard that they're collaborating with Nike a lot more and they're coming out with a lot of different other colorways, especially the white and red one. That is gonna be absolutely fire. They also have like a reverse grape colorway and the grape colorway. Those are actually very excited for. I'm more excited for the reverse grape. That color scheme to me is super dope. So let's talk about the colors on this shoe. There's a lot and I'm not gonna lie. Let's just count. We got one, two, okay, let's do this. If you guys can figure out how many colors the shoe has and you are correct, DM me on my Instagram at jxsfilms or at life at stamina to enter a giveaway that I'm gonna be doing in the next couple of months. I don't exactly know what the giveaway is gonna be yet, but trust me, I'm telling you, it's gonna be super dope. So don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Send me a DM. I'm gonna be counting at the end of the video. Hopefully I am 100% right. Let's get it. All these colors surrounding the upper is all vintage looking colors. Like this kind of reminds me of like the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. You know what I mean? So let's talk about the tongue for a second. As you can see, it's an Air Max. It's got that colorful patch design on the top of the tongue. It's got like a zebra design there as well. Man, there's so many different designs, so many different colors on the shoe. I cannot stress enough to see how this would look on feet. Now you get this clear plastically feeling that's surrounding the upper. It's actually a coating on top. The logo is not embroidered on the back of the heel. It's actually a part of this clear material. But I'm actually very surprised that they didn't embroider the Nike branding on the back. It's pretty cool that they didn't do it that way. I love that it's clear at the back. It's very subtle because realistically, it's got Nike Air all over the shoe. Next on the side panel, you've got that Nike Air kind of embroidered there. The Nike swoosh embroidered here as well. And of course, you've got the regular Nike swoosh, except it's more of like a neon pink color. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like beside each other. So as you can see, it's got the Nike Air here, but it's got the Nike swoosh over there as well. And I'm gonna tell you guys this right now, each shoe is different. And what I mean is both pairs are different colors. They are not the exact same. So for whatever reason, if you do have a shoe in hand, they both have different colors on the sides, just to let you guys know. Now the shoe also comes with three different laces. It also comes with the neon yellow and it comes with the purple. I don't really know if I would mix and match these shoes because I mean, there's really a lot of colors on it. I've seen a lot of people who have and they can definitely pull it off. But uh, for now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna keep them this color. 
I think it just pops the most because it matches the swoosh and I think it'll just break up the colors very nicely. Now the sole on the bottom, you've got three colors, which is the white, the blue, and the purple. It's great that they didn't keep it white. I think it adds a lot of character to the sole. The branding on the bottom is very simple. It's got the air on the arch and it's got the Nike swoosh just around the back. And of course, you've got like those little triangles for a little bit of grip too. You guys see, it also does have the Nike swoosh on the back as well. You've got the Nike Air Max bubble. It's definitely something hard to wear. But if you wear it right, I feel like you can just rock the hell out of these. All in all though, I think this sneaker is pretty damn fire and I don't know where one of these go yet. Guys, if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. We are going to do the on foot of the new Nike Air Max 2 lights. Guys, this is Jordan Stamina. Thank you so much for watching. Like your stamina. Peace.